Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skill. I am Matthew Atikani. Today's topic of presentation is about irregular verbs. Verbs that are not regular but irregular verbs. Sometimes people are good at spoken English uh, but they are ignorant of grammar. So there was a boy whose mother tongue was actually English. He went to write a competitive exam. After the exam, his friend asked him, how was the exam? He said, it was easy. All the questions were very easy, except one question. What was the question? What is the past tense of think? What is the past tense of think? I thought and thought. I thought for a long time, but I couldn't get the answer. So what did you actually write? At the end of the test, before passing in paper, I wrote, I think. He actually knew the answer. He said, I thought and thought, but I couldn't get the answer. But at the end, he wrote, I think. Well, this uh, ignorance of grammar is okay in ordinary people, but it is not to be excused in teachers of English. They should know formal grammar also. One is while interviewing candidates for lecturer's post in a college. I was disappointed because many of them had poor standards. So they were not able to answer the standard questions. So I started asking some quixotic questions. So I asked one candidate, what is wrong with the following sentence? The boys throwed stones at the bus. Boys throwed stones at the bus. At once he said, very bad boys. They should not be throwing stones. I asked him again, what is wrong with the sentence, not with the boys? Boy throwed stones at the bus. He had no idea. I asked him, have you heard of irregular verbs? No, sir. I haven't. He had gone through all of school, high school and college without knowing what is an irregular verb. Dear friends, we can't afford such ignorance, especially if we are teaching. Now, what is a regular verb and what is an irregular verb? This term refers to the way we, we form the past tense and the past participle. Every verb has got three forms, the present, past and past participle. If you form the past tense by adding ed to the present, and past participle also by adding ed to the present, then it is a regular verb. Many verbs are regular. Take the verb, uh, verb walk. I walk, I walked, I had walked. Similarly, talk, talk, talked, talked. I walked with my friend and we talked a long time. As we are walking, we are talking. This is a regular verb. No problem with regular verbs. Then what are irregular verbs? They are verbs which form the past tense in some other way. They don't form the past tense by adding ed to the past uh, for the past tense or for the past participle. Some other way. And it is best to learn them according to certain groups or clusters. First of all, there are verbs which make no change at all in the present past and past participle. They have the same form, it's very easy to learn them. For example, take the words like cut. Cut, cut. Cut, put, 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 put. I cut the grass and put it on the roadside. Similarly, shut, shut, shut. Pit, pit, pit. Hit, you are hitting runs. Hit, hit, hit. Quit, quit, quit. Bet, bet, 
but even if you bet uh, 1 million dollars or rupees it is still bet not betted read red red cost 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 split 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 some sentences i cut the wood put it in the shed and shut the door during ipl i hit several sixes and quit the game in a blaze of glory he bet that if i split the wood and sold it it would profit me more another group is the change the vowel of the present tense for the past tense that's all just change the vowel of the present tense in the past tense for example rise rose prison the i of the present is changed into o in the past win one one become became become dig dug dug bleed bled bled you are bleeding blood breed bread bread you breed fish fall fell fallen example when i dug a hole i lost balance and fell into it similarly come came come feed fed fed fight fought fought get got got example when i came home after work i got some rice and fed my dog many other words also flee fled fled run ran run another very small group in this group the last letter of the present tense d is changed into t in the past tense a few words only like lend lent lent to lend money l e n d present l e n t past spend spent spent spend some time at play similarly bend bent bent bend your elbow a sentence i lent him 500 rupees last week and by now he has spent it all then there are some verbs which change the vowel of the present tense to o in the past tense and add en for past participle example rise rose risen drive drove driven ride road ridden break broke broken speak spoke spoken freeze froze frozen forget forgot forgotten steal stole stolen stolen property wake woke woken write wrote written not rotten example i rose in the morning and rode alone on the forest on the frozen lake or i stole away from the madding city and all my worries were forgotten the last group is one in which all the three forms are different and there are very many of them example begin began begun throw through thrown do did done choose chose chosen fall fell fallen forbid forbad forbidden go when gone is a very long list all the three forms are different so dear friends know your irregular verbs and their forms very well you can find list a uh, list of them in grammar books or certain dictionaries there is no other way than learning them by heart but you, you can take them by clusters as i have suggested so it will make the learning easier bye Good luck. See you another time. Bye.